Well, first let me say I'm so happy to see a woman brought up for president, and I'm grateful for that. However, does that mean I was on the fence even with Biden running again? Because everyone talks about, oh, let's get the black vote, let's get the black vote, and they get the black vote and nothing changes. And when I say nothing, I mean our education system. Our children are suffering in New York City public schools. Notice the woman is trying to understand why the black vote matters, even though Kamala isn't black, but she's asking for clarity on how Kamala can benefit the people. She's in New York, so she's feeling the effect, the sting, with Biden's administration being in office. When she said their children are suffering, if you don't know, there was almost a budget cut of $550 million dollars for New York Education Department. Not only that, migrants were temporarily housed in public schools, which forced education to be placed on hold for the children. And, you know, this also, of course, placed a financial burden on the parents because they had to miss work. And so the taxpayers in New York, their dollars are being spent on migrants and not being used for the New York residents. And let's talk about services. My brother's paraplegic. He got hit by a drunken driver. It's very hard for him to get services. And I understand that they allow the migrants to come in, but they come in and they just overwhelm them with services. And they forget about the people that are already here. So what's going to change with that? What are they going to do with the black agenda to help our children that's struggling in New York City? public schools. They're not even on the same level as other kids in other countries. And that's what my concern is. So is something going to change because Kamala's running instead of Biden? Like, help me out. We're confused here. Well, those are all valid questions. A lot of those things you uh, named are local issues, though. Yeah. Like, that stuff you should be going to your local government with. Yeah. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. What you mean it's a local issue? This is not a local issue. It's a border issue. But you won't say that and will deflect because you already endorsed Kamala on your show. So the least you can do is attempt to refute why people should vote for. Her. But since you want to say it's a local government issue, you know exactly the mayor who's behind it all. Mayor Eric Adams, who's on the Breakfast Club show just about every year because we all know the Democrat Party pay you to use your platform to garner black votes. Hey, man, I just want to say y'all the GOAT. Y'all been helping me survive morning for a decade now from college to work. So I just want to say that. We um, old. We old, so baby. Let's go. Man. Thank you, Kevin. Well, just not. Just new. But we old. <laughs> we can <interview. laughs> Hey, man, oldness is greatness, you know? You already anyway, know. I don't think America is ready. I don't think America is ready for a female president. You know what? I'm a black man, and I absolutely do not want another... Uh, Democratic president in there. I think we should give the Republicans another try. There's a lot of agendas that the the, the, Dem the Democratic Party has kind of put in, into place that I don't support. I think they're destroying the black man. They're destroying the black family. I think they're ruining our country. And if you're living in New York like I am, man, this place is a financial nightmare, not to mention crime. I think if we put Trump back in there, man, it's going to be amazing. Kamala cannot do what he's going to do to bring this country back to where it needs to be. And this is not a race thing, because that's the number one thing they like to say when they talk about Trump and how he's a criminal and blah, 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 blah. I don't think any of that matters. His policies are what we need to focus on, and he's going to get us back where we need to go. Kamala is not ready. This man is saying everything I've been saying for the longest. New York City is one of the top Democratic-ran cities as their policies are hostile towards American people, especially black American families. The reason their policies affect black men, one reason is because as we're dealing with the war on poverty. Two, we have the feminist movement, also known you know, as uh, the group that push women equality, which really doesn't push the equality of women. These are liberal women who are pushing a gender war against black men who aren't supporting the left values. They're spinning the narrative that black men hate black women because they're not supporting Kamala Harris, who by the way, isn't black, she's Indian. So they're making it about a race thing to destroy the image of a black man when it's simply about policy. Black men aren't voting for her because of her policy, not because she's a woman. It's already started on Twitter. The Black Gender War. 
It's already happened before. The Democrats has already separated the black family, coming in, offering welfare services, telling black women if the man won't in the house, they could get a check back in the early 40s when the welfare system first started. Yes, they literally ran around telling black women they would give them a $16 a month check if they didn't have a black man in the house. Now, we have black women on all over social media saying that they can't count on black men to vote for Kamala Harris, that black men are going to be sellouts, that black men don't care about the race. No, we don't care about symbolic victories and token first. We want a plan like the platinum plan that Donald Trump and Ice Cube worked and hashed out. Black women, we are not going to side with you. You've already abandoned the black man by running out on our family for welfare. You sided with the LBGT community. You sided with feminism. We are not going to side with you guys. We are not going to let you guilt us into you celebrating a Chucks and Pearls symbolic victory. We need to sit down and discuss this together. Ask black men why they are leaving the Democratic Party. Ask black men why they're considering voting Trump. Don't just shame us. Don't just try to guilt us. Don't call us brokies because we don't want to vote for Kamala Harris. Not saying we won't vote for her. We just want to know what she's going to do. And to add another reason why he said the Democrat policies attack black men is because the Equality Act was pushed by Biden administration for the LGBTQI and whatever other letters they add to it, community, which attacks parental rights and children education. And so I agree with these callers, especially the last caller, 100%. And I believe Kamala isn't getting much support the way the media is portraying it. No, I believe many black Americans are waking up and that they are reading between the bull that these pundits are pushing. There are still many of us who are tired of identity politics and we are looking for tangibles. We the people want tangibles.